I'm over here. It's a brand new day. I'm so glad you're here. Well, we are in our Friday catch up video here on Survival Road. So the first thing I wanna do is say thank you for all the comments on, I know, whoops, this is my notes. What was that, right? So I'm gonna talk about what the video was sort of meant to represent and why I made it at the end. Before I do that, I just wanna do uh, some Friday catch up things and a uh, little bit of business. And I know a lot of you don't really like those kind of videos, even though I was surprised as many people watched it uh, as you did, although it was a pretty massive uh, subscriber uh, dump and also my overall uh, channel took a big dump in terms of views. It's cut in about half. So, but I'm changing and so I expect the audience to change with me. So I appreciate those of you who are willing to go with a little bit of variety and a brand new direction and uh, and that's probably what the next video will be about. Uh, I know I need to get some uh, consistency and a message. Again, I've kind of been all over the place experimenting, but I think I'm getting, you know, on the simpler version of the message. And so for those of you who don't like the music stuff, I think what I'll do is the videos that are just more talking videos, other than these Friday ones, uh, I'll put words in that thumbnail. So there'll be a picture with words in it. And then you'll know it's more the old style and the newer stuff as I continue to uh, explore the more creative parts of all this process. Those videos won't have, the thumbnails won't have a picture or words in the picture. So we'll just do a plain picture with no words if there is going to be music and editing. Uh, words in the thumbnail if, there, if it's going to be more just a talking kind of video. I appreciate your patience <laughs> as I continue this process. The water is back on here. Yay! So I need, what I'm doing is getting this wet so I can dig a pond again. So I can keep the, the rats and the rabbits out of there. Uh, the second thing is, is that if you haven't watched the video I'm going to be talking about, I want to talk about what's in the links below. And I'm going to start putting more information below. Uh, but in the links below are the books. Uh, so that's how this process gets supported, is I have three books for sale. Uh, you'll find that link below and an explanation of what they are. Uh, other videos and the video that we'll be talking about, I'll put that link below. And the last link I'm going to put below is the next thing I want to talk to you about. And I came on this information a while ago. I just haven't uh, gotten around to sharing it with you. And it's this isn't going to be a big, long explanation. But for those of us who are getting older, uh, as we are increasing our risk for things like diabetes, inflammation, heart disease, stroke, all the fun stuff, in addition to depression, anxiety, and stress management, uh, I came across uh, some information about something called the vagus nerve and vagal tone. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. Um, I'm, I've been familiar with the vagus nerve briefly. It's attached to the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the one that balances out the sympathetic. So the sympathetic nervous system is the stress response and the parasympathetic is the calming, which is why we do the deep breathing. In for four, exhale, hold for four, exhale for four. And it's actually the exhale when you're pushing down on your diaphragm as slowly as possible that actually creates that vagal tone. And that, there's other stuff which we'll talk about in the interview and you can look it up. But the reason that's so important and I wanted to bring it up is because they're finding all kinds of information about how powerful it is for our overall health. Now, the word Vegas actually means to wander. So how can you not be excited about that definition here on Survival Road where we're all about the wandering? Uh, but it's also the cause, they think, of sudden death heart attack. So uh, it, it decreases inflammation. Inflammation cre uh, c contributes to diabetes. Diabetes also contributes to heart disease and stroke. So it's kind of a free thing you can do that's a big win, 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 and part of you know, being responsible for our health is educating ourselves on what actually goes into being healthy. Because a lot of times your doctor ain't going to tell you. So uh, I wanted to make sure you knew that because we do, we don't talk a lot about health anymore, but I'm still 
uh, very committed to you and to me being ever healthier as we cannot stop ourselves from this aging process. And it's just a little breathing, a few other things, and you've got some yourself from vagal tone, which will actually make your life overall better, which is a good thing. So that brings me to the last thing I want to talk about. So what the heck was that? Uh, the video is, uh, I am frustrated, as you know, creatively with these talking head videos. And, you know, I sort of defaulted into them because that was the overall request is, is stop showing me things, stop editing. I don't really like the music. A tiny percentage of you do. Uh, but we really don't want to do that. And uh, as you know, I'm exploring this whole masculine feminine aspect. And, you know, for me, talking head, just intellectualizing is me way into the masculine energy. And, um, and the creative, the soft visual without, you know, so the more emotional is me into the feminine. And I'm exploring that balance within myself. And so what the video really was about is about uh, the, the first part, right, was the you know, represented with the black, the heavy clothing, the men's clothing, the working, the doing. Uh, that's really the masculine side of me. And that uh, pail carrying a bucket of rocks, the pail was a, was a kind of a flashback to the Jack and Jill story that I uh, had put in the previous video. And it also represents, you know, all the masculine parts of myself that I'm carrying. And I'm taking that to the trailer uh, and knocking on the door of the feminine part of me. And that is why the feminine opens the door as the masculine walks away. And so because I have limited wardrobe, I knew I wanted to wear a dress. I only have three. Luckily, I had a white one. So, and I never wear that dress in public for uh, obvious reasons. The minute I went outside, it was windy and it blew up over my head. So uh, I do not have a Marilyn Monroe thing going on that I want to expose that much of myself. But uh, so I appreciate you being nice about that and how that just represents the feminine part. And so the idea was uh, to show you great contrast. You know, I didn't put on any makeup or I didn't do anything. I wanted it to be a very simple contrast, very obvious, so barefoot, that whole thing. And the stones then represent, you know, me looking at the masculine parts of myself and what can I, what do I need that I've always, that, you know, I've spent a lifetime trying to figure out how to give myself, what do I need from men? And that's the question that I'm asking myself right now. And uh, so that was sort of, you know, that was sort of my, my attempt to do something. And you can read whatever you want into it, because whatever you do, work, whatever works, that's the beauty of symbolism and art is it allows you to have a private experience. Uh, with the, with the concepts, even if it doesn't agree with mine, it's not important that you understand what I'm doing because what I'm asking for is a more emotional response, a nonverbal response, um, because you know the the intellectual and the the mental is very verbal and uh, defined, and the emotional, the heart, uh, is much more nonverbal, and that's really you know kind of what I was going for. Uh, the last thing I will throw out there. And I don't know if this is true or not, but, you know, I, I've been watching this man stuff. And one of the, the things I hear is that men, uh, we know men are more visual, right? And they want more range from us as women. And, uh, and I think that's a good thing because I'm as bored as you are with this, you know, just I'm bored uh, with this process. It's more fun for me to, to think of a creative way to share the information. And, um, and I'll do both because not everybody li <laughs> likes the other. Uh, but I appreciate you allowing me to explore my own range and uh, my own creativity in this process with you. So we're going to say goodbye here. I hope you have a really great weekend. I will be back next week at some point with hopefully a more clear-cut version of where this journey is going. But until the next time, I hope you rise with the sun in your eyes. Love in your heart. Feet firmly on the ground as we are together walking on Survival Road. One step at a time, baby. Here we go. Are you ready? So live free and die wild, my friend. I will see you next time.